Hi friends, long time no see. This is M of Plan With M and I'm back in my moxie life. I've been using it, I just have not been filming. I need to, this is gonna sound so dumb. Basically what happened was I got this cool new thing for my desk, but it interferes with like the filming setup. So I'm still, I'm kind of trying to figure that out. Like potentially I might move like, in a perfect world, I would have a second desk. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. That's a little, that's a little bougie. But I'm a bougie bitch, so who knows. But this is the 11th through the 17th. And then we've got some weekly actions. That's the nice thing about the Moxie Life Planner is that it divides it like that. This is the week before last. So I did a bookish theme this week. And then I'm still kind of working on filling out this week. But... We're about to go into May. So I did already fill out my monthly. Um, although I'm realizing that not all of these D&Ds might happen. But we're there. We'll fill out this. I don't know if it'll be together or not. But you can see there's a lot of pages. That's why this is a six month planner. Because you have all of those added weekly actions. So we're going to figure out how, how I want to plan this. Uh, I'm going to bring you all down, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> mostly so I can see a little better if I'm in frame. And let's see. So it's going to be, it's going to be May. Uh, I'm going to put my, oh my God. I have the worst phlegm right now. It's seasonal allergy season in Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Technically speaking, it's always seasonal allergy season in Knoxville uh, because we just have so much pollen and just like allergens year round. I'm waiting for my mouse to look alive. There we go. Uh, let's just click. There we go. Okay, so this is a Monday start, so I don't really only have to worry about the things that are on Mondays. And a lot of this is sort of like things that'll go in my social media, but I'm the only thing that's really happening is that on Thursday I have D&D, and on Thursday I'm having breakfast with a friend. And potentially we might have a friend coming into town this weekend. He has not let us know, <laughs> technically. So we're still sort of figuring that out. Uh, we got a whole bunch of headers, washi. Y'all know I'm, I do have some biases towards Create With Mandy, but there's one yep this one it's gonna be may i was i had really been wanting to use these stickers from caitlin so i i'm either gonna use these ones here or in my passion planner so we're gonna pull them because you'll note that i have a separate uh one just for caitlin stickers because no offense her stickers are sized weird and they don't fit in this <laughs> and then also for uh Alicia Michelle, because her stickers are also sized a little bit weird. Let's see. All right, so this is where I've been keeping all my quotes. I do love these spring quotes. You can tell my favorite thing to put in my planners is our, is our definitely quotes. <laughs> um, I think it, this is basically just going to be like a quick sticker tour because I am just wanting so many things like I want to use all of them I'm probably gonna skip the functional icons this week because there's not that much going on um oh, those are just letters okay let's look at boxes because boxes sometimes get me a little inspired I used these ones last week so we're not gonna use those this week Running a little low on those. And admittedly, I only have two things happening this week. So, frick, I don't need boxes. Ugh. Okay, let's look at seasonal. Because I never, I never used to be a seasonal planner. But now, okay, so now that I'm an adult. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that I can't just take a day off whenever I want one. Um, I understand the value of reminding yourself that, oh, hey, it's spring. <laughs> like, because sometimes when you are in a windowless office, 
you can't see what it looks like outside. Uh, okay, this is mostly winter stickers, which makes sense because my favorite season is summer followed by winter, which is weird. It's because normally I like snow and I love Christmas, even though, again, not really religious. Well, let's see what we got for circles. Uh, use those very recently, use those very recently. These are nice. I mean, obviously they're nice, they're from Mandy. Um, I'm leaning towards the Terrazzo. I do love, I do love me some Amuse uh, crossing the sky circles. Okay, we're pulling, we're pulling a bunch of things, let's be honest. Circle, circle, circle. Okay, we've got blues and yellows. Those are gonna be a spread for sure. You'll notice that basically all of my circles are Mandy's. <laughs> That's not a mistake. That is, that is a purposeful decision because I love circle stickers and she's the first one, at least to my knowledge, who started doing them. All right, and I do see the thing about the Pineberry paper ones is that they're very small and I feel like they fit better in the Passion Planner than the Moxie Life. Potentially, I like those though. I love these from LPTG Create. It's going to be a long video, y'all. I don't know if I want to use these in here though. <laughs> What's fun is that I can also decorate my weekly actions. So you saw I used uh, Lupita's stickers there, which is some of my faves. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Happy hibiscus. See, these are gonna come out for summer, for sure. Um, eucalyptus. Sometimes I get tired of flowers. Like I have a bunch. I buy them because they're pretty, because flowers are pretty. Am I wrong? But I don't wanna use them all the time because then I feel like I get sick of them. Where my biggest sort of section here, so we had flowers, now we go into humans. I don't think I want any humans in this spread. We'll double check, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that's all sort of fall vibes. Okay. And this was kind of like International Women's Day. Why do they all look mad? Oh no, they're just doing the subtle smile. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> okay, and then we got birds. Lots of birds. So I got these ones from Lupita. Got some jellyfish, some sort of Scandinavian style ones. Ew, what is that? I don't know what that is. Whole bunch of birds, butterflies, birds, 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 cats with little cat butts. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is why usually I figure this out before I start planning. But sometimes I think y'all like the process of just going through and seeing all the stickers. So I use these for a, um, what is it called? A weekly reflection. Um, okay, got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, the Easter watercolors can definitely come play because they're not, they're just sort of pastel. They're not like Easter specific. Uh, we have all those from JoJo. Let's see. <laughs> A little honey, honey for sale. Um, let's see, I love those clouds. Those clouds might finally get used. Y'all know, I sit here and I'm like, I love these. Am I gonna use them? Maybe. Okay, that'll be fun. I think I could maybe use the splotches and the clouds together. Um, let's see. Oh, more clouds, more clouds, disco balls, stars, Ted Lasso, fruit, which hmm, I need to think long and hard about if I'm actually ever gonna use these because they're really cute and they're very well drawn, but I don't know if I'm a, I love fruit. I like to eat fruit. I don't know if I like to use it in my planner. We shall see. This might end up being like a double sort of spread because I think it would be fun if I also decorated my, oof, my weekly actions. So I might do this side first. What? Oh my God, I just felt, I was like, oh, I'll just buff it out. I'm like, no, don't lick your finger, then touch your planner. It's gonna make it all wet. Okay, this week it is supposed to be like super rainy and stuff. So that'll be fun. Well, not fun, I hate rain. But what I mean is it'll be good to, for like the theme. 
you know, this, the aesthetics. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of put these clouds down. And, oh, did you guys see that? Where did that come from? Is it like that on all of these? What the heck? I don't know what happened. Okay. Well, we're just gonna cover it up. <laughs> when in doubt, cover it up. All right. Um, just literally just plopping down clouds, which is really nice. Honestly, I like it. Because this sheet from Taylor Ryan Design, so cute. And like very clearly hand drawn, which I like. I, I don't know. I am reticent, I think that means resistant basically, to use stickers that are clip art that don't say that they're clip art, basically. Because it feels like everyone's like, oh my god, look at your artwork, but you didn't actually do the artwork. I don't know. We've talked about it on the podcast, and like... I think the real the real thing we we don't like is sort of claiming other people's work as your own. Um, but we do respect that it is its own art form, right? Like, uh, I'm gonna use these little stars over here. I think that's cute. Uh, so like at Amy's Designs, we take um, art from like old artists and we make it into stickers but we always say if it's from an artist you know who made it um and what art piece it's from that's the difference it's kind of like citations versus plagiarism not that i'm not that i'm calling using clip art plagiarism but i'm just trying to make a comparison okay this is so stinking cute and then, I feel like maybe I should put some washi in this somewhere. I don't know. I am gonna put a big star up here though for the day that I'm having breakfast with Hannah. And uh, a big star on, well, I don't know when Jake is coming in. I don't know if Jake is coming in, let's be real. That's the thing. You know when you, you know how you have those friends where like they just don't seem to plan? That's kind of how Jake is. And we love Jake. We really do. But we don't love like flaky Jakey. That's what I'll say. Now I'm just kind of putting these uh, little flash, star flashes. What do you even call these? Do these have a name? Bursts? Novas. I don't know. I'm just sort of scattering those around the page. It's gonna be super sort of minimalist in turn, like compared to my some of my usual spreads. Uh, let's put this one. Ooh, I want to be cool. I'm gonna put one on the other side. Ooh, look at me. So that's an entire sheet. Tons of room for writing. So I, you know, you'll know. I always leave the bottom row uh, blank because that's where I track my Apple stats. I have not closed my rings in a while, but beside the point. Okay, so now let's see what kind of coordinates with these clouds. We've got, I don't want to, I don't want to use these anymore here because I feel like these would need, you know, more. Let's see. Um, none of these really, like, really go with it. Um... I think that, you know, with these colors, though, that this, this could be cute. And I like the little moon. So we're going to just sort of plop down some stickers. I think it's going to be fun in that I can kind of match the... Oh, wow, look at that coming out. I can match the stars to the colors of the Moxie Life. So, you know, like up here. I'm like, oh, that goes there. <laughs> so I'm going to do all of that sort of color matching stuff first and then I'll go in and add the um what's the right word uh the constellations oh I love that 
that looks so cute there. Uh, okay, so I've got like this teal. The teal is gonna have to work over here. Oh man, except that that's like literally the perfect match for the shoot. Mandy, why didn't you do green? Do you not like green? Oh shoot, okay. That didn't stick all the way. Um, We're gonna have to go with this sort of pale blue for that. It doesn't really work. So what we're gonna do then is add a constellation down here because that'll make it feel at least a little more balanced. Like it almost got the right color. <laughs> Um, and then I'm gonna add in some more of these to the ones where it like almost worked. I know that I'm just kind of putting them along the edges, but it makes it, I don't know, it, I like to, I wanna have the room on the inside to write. And I know, let's see, so I know that, oh, this is gonna sound bad, that family and relationships isn't gonna have that much to write in. Um, Personal usually does, but it definitely needs a little something. So I'm just gonna. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> um, let's see. So maybe, and then spiritual and personal growth. That'll be the other one. And then we'll just have that sort of sticking out through the page. Okay, this is cute. This is like real cute. Uh, and then maybe just take this little weekly actions teeny tiny moon and put it up here. Look at that! Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, we can go in to the functionals. And I used, so last week I used these paper panda ones, which would, I think I'm, I'm gonna use them again. Just, I'm just gonna sort of start off the checklists so it makes it really easy I had I liked leaving the first line blank so we're just gonna put that there and my weekly actions I usually set them first in my notion so I just posted a notion tour on my Instagram uh, where you can kind of see how slash why I do uh, things that I do in my notion. If you want to see something on here, let me know and we can film kind of like an in-depth video of sort of like how I use notion, tips and tricks or something. I don't really have that many tricks. I'm kind of a noob, but sometimes it's better than nothing. Um, so that's what, I'll, that's what I'll say on that. And so I haven't set these yet, which is why I can't really fill them in. But I'm pretty happy, look at this. It's so cute. My little before the pen weekly actions. And then this, okay. Um, I need to know, tomorrow is May 1st. So second, third, fourth, fifth, Sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, I might do something somewhat silly. One second. I got so I got this marble washi tape from Poi and Hun, which I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's very similar in aesthetic to cloth and paper. Um, it's another small business, but I just want to see, because this looks like it is the perfect thickness to just go, ah, <laughs> to just go right in there, um, which I like. So I was thinking I would do that here and then also along the bottom, because I never fill in this bottom row of my heart uh, page. So I'm just gonna rip this now and then go back in later with an X-Acto knife and sort of fix it all up. I do, I quite enjoy that. It is because it's like my aesthetic. <laughs> I hate that word so much. And we'll see, I'm just gonna see if I like this. I might not. It, it does look a little weird just having like a completely solid strip of washi tape down there. 
but at the same time at least for this spread I don't mind it because it's very it kind of makes it look ethereal in a way and I'm just like I, that little line at the bottom had always bugged me so now it doesn't bug me no more okay downside is that since I did it so taut down here now they're like uh, warping a little bit let's find my exacto all right so we're oh man she is loose i need a new blade on this real bad <sighs> but we'll just do some quick and easy cuts and call it good let me know in the comments if you like uh adding the decoration of the weekly actions i like that it uses up sticker sheets personally uh, because that's what I need. I have so many and I keep buying more and if I don't use them I'm going to have a house made of stickers rather than a house made of house. So <laughs> as much as I would love to live in a house of stickers I also would like to have room for a couch. Yes. And also this last week so like a day ago the a new episode of the podcast came out so professionally planned with caitlin and em we have a new episode in which we talk about youtube actually <laughs> uh and caitlin gives some pretty good tips on how to like actually do a good job <laughs> so uh if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos hit that subscribe button um, let me know in the comments if anything I talked about today resonates with you because honestly, I have forgotten everything I've said. And as always, happy planning.